Dang, did you see my video on how to make custom Discord themes? Well, there's actually something you can do, and you can create a custom animated background for Discord. So to start off, all we need to do is download Better Discord, and once again, Better Discord is against the terms of service, so you technically can get banned, but you have a super duper 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 small chance. Basically, don't be an idiot, and you should be A-OK. -okay. Just stick to the plugins and themes on here, or use your custom one-off Limeshark you should be completely fine. Once you download and open up the installer, just accept the license agreement. I know you're not going to read it. Click next on install, press the Discord version you have, and click install. Now it's going to restart your Discord, and you might see this better Discord window. You might not. That's completely fine. And you also might see this download failed thing. Just press OK. The main thing we're looking for is go to the bottom left, go to user settings, scroll down, and you should see better Discord in your Discord settings. If you see this, perfect, you're good to go. If you don't, just join my Discord and look at the FAQ because I have huge diagnostic steps there. Moving on, the next place we need to go to is the second link in the description and you will see limeshark.dev. Now, I've been way in depth into this website and told you how to theme everything, but today we're gonna be focusing on Frosted Glass. Once you open it up, you should see on the right, you see your Discord preview, and on the left, you'll see tools that you can use to modify the theme. The main thing I wanna focus on right now is this window Discord gap and this Discord window roundness. Using this, you can change the border around Discord. I usually just crank it all the way to the left. And you also have Discord window roundness, which uh, is pretty self-explanatory. Just kinda change it to however you want and move on to the meat and potatoes of this bad boy. Click on the second tab on the top left and you'll see a little picture. Open it up and you will see background image. So all you need to do is go on Google and search up aesthetic GIFs and get a whole bunch of them. So the main thing to focus on is that each one of these links end in .gif. So just keep looking for an aesthetic that you like and you notice that there's a little cute little kitty on this one. So you need to copy the URL and paste it to the left on the editor. And once you click off, you will notice that your wallpaper is now the cute little kitty cat in the little room that's all pinky and purple and it looks great. There are a couple of settings you can change to modify how this looks, specifically with the Discord portion, not the border, and that's background image blur. If you crank that all the way down, you'll have no blur at all, which might make it hard to read text. If you crank it up all the way, you won't be able to see anything. So just tinker around with it until you're comfortable with it. And once you're comfortable with it, all you need to do is go to the top left, click on the settings thing, and enter a preset name. Now, once you enter a preset name, all you need to do is click the download button, and that will download a CSS file, which is actually the theme for Discord. So all you need to do is drag that to the left, open up Discord on the right, go to your settings, and click on themes. Then you need to open the themes folder, and you'll get this folder that pops up, and you just need to drag the CSS file into that folder. And if you do that successfully, you will see now in Discord, you have themes, and you have that theme that you entered the enter a preset name. And once you enable it and close off, you will notice that you now have an animated Discord background, which is pretty sick. And it allows you to see my super cool Discord server that you can join on if you need help or if you want to play Minecraft for some reason. I don't know why I have it. Anywho, if you want to uninstall your theme and you just don't like the look anymore because you're a boomer and you like old looking Discord, all you need to do is go back to the settings, go back to themes and turn off the theme. You could delete it if you want, that's completely fine, but if you're a goody two-shoes and you want little Papa Elon Musk to kiss you goodnight, all you need to do to uninstall Better Discord is first off, go to your downloads folder, and once you're in your downloads folder, open up the installer, and once you open up the installer, pretend you read the license agreement once again, and click on the uninstall Better Discord button, and click next, then click on the Discord version you installed it to, and press uninstall. Discord will restart and show you how many windows I have open. And once it restarts, just to verify whether or not it fully uninstalled, just go to the user settings, and on the left you will see I do not have better Discord settings anymore. And guess what? That's how you have a custom background, and that's also how you remove it. Anyways, I'm going to go get a custom background of some cute little friends I have. I, I know you guys. Not you. No, 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 not, not you guys.